Hey there. Good morning, sort of. Um, so, you know, sometimes I like to err on the side of precaution. And uh, so what I've done here <clears throat> is I've made some cleats. These are redwood. And uh, under normal circumstances, I use our tried and true tight bond. It's an aliphatic resin. Works very well for most applications. However, in this, I'm using some hot hide glue. The reason for that is hot hide glue um, shrinks and actually uh, as the cleat shrinks, you know, I put it on uh, diagonal to the seam. If you can see the seam, yes you can. And so I put it on diagonal and the cleat will shrink this way thereby actually pulling the seam tighter together. And at this point in the middle of this is where this uh, wood is at its thinnest, and so I want to strengthen it. Now I need to sort of stop talking and uh, get this going so that the um, hide glue is still hot and uh, everything. Or at least I can talk, but I have to move. And I just soak the whole thing because I actually do. I want the entire thing to uh, shrink. And I really don't even need clamps. All you need to do is press it on a little bit firmly. And the glue itself, as it dries, will pull it tight um, to the wood. And that's how that works. So we'll get this one done. I just dip the whole thing in, as I said, because I really actually do want some of that glue to soak in. Um, and there we go. Uh, let's see, so I've got that green going that way, and just for fun, I'm going to have them go the opposite way. Oops, dang it. I lost a little bit of the glue because I needed to move it some, but that's okay. There's plenty in there. So again, for the last one, I don't soak it for a long time, but I do just make sure that it gets coated all around. And this being um, redwood, it really soaks in pretty quick. Okay, so I've got that green going that way, that green going that way, so I want this to go again the opposite way. Let's go ahead and plop it right down here. Go. Sorry for the horrible camera work. Press it down firmly just a little bit. And that's it for that. Um, and this will, uh, you know, strengthen a lot more than it looks like. Um, you know, with just little pieces like this. Violin makers know all about, you know, cleats and stuff. Uh, a lot of times you'll see in acoustic guitars, you'll see a whole strip going down the back. But in this particular project, I am working at making this as absolutely ultra light as I possibly can. So the lightest possible solution for strengthening this back seam is what I want to do. So there we are. How about that? Look, it's kitties!